So I'm taking a walk here, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are, whatever time of the year you're watching this in. And happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Diwali, happy Hanukkah, whatever it is. Feliz Navidad, etc. Whatever it is in your world. I'm still here in Mexico City. I'm just taking a walk through Roma Norte, but the part that is to the south, not the northern part of Roma Norte. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm traveling Eddie, and we're going places, and right now I'm just taking a walk. Here I had some free time, and I just wanna walk around and explore. I'm just walking off this street, Campeche, and as it says there, Colonia Roma Sur del Delegación Cuauhtémoc. Delegación is kind of like a kind of a way they identify regions inside of Mexico City. They got Alcaldías, Delegación, and Colonia. Colonia is like a neighborhood, but very big, not a small neighborhood. Now let's make sure that I don't become Roadkill Eddie today. This is Traveling Eddie, not ro Roadkill, because in Mexico City, I have given this advice already once or twice. I'm gonna give it again. You don't have the right of way. It doesn't matter if you got the pedestrian little green light to cross. Some drivers here and motorcycle riders, bus drivers as well, taxi drivers, uh, could give a rat's ass about you. It's them first, then second, then third. And if they run of you, who knows? It'll be a hit and run or just a hit in this day to see what happened. So, yeah, and this is the orchard here, Roma Verde, Green Rome, and I almost tripped. Nice artwork. I got my sunglasses on, so I'm walking through life with my glasses blurred, because it's like that. And you know the rest of the song. Look, they got tango classes and all of that, and things they offer around here in the area. A gastronomic festival and handcraft festival, handicraft festival happening when is that happening? Oh, at the end of this month, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, I'm going to come here and do a video on that, a vlog. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., the 28th and the 29th. Food, beverages, bazaar, music, folklore. Oh, I'm coming. Where is this? It's here in Jalapa, Jalapa Street, 234 Nomenclature. Oh, wow, cool. I'm going to upload this video then today or tomorrow so you guys can see this. Today is August 25th. So any, if you, any of you are here, there goes my money truck. Hey, where's my money? Come back with my money. Hold up, buddy. Where's my money? You can't be running off with my money. I'm just kidding. Oh, look, vegetarian hamburgers. Wow, look at this. Lentil burgers, uh, chickpea burgers, portobello mushroom burgers, refrescos, 20 cent, 20 pesos. That's a dollar for, for uh, uh, a soft drink and 10 pesos for a juice. That's 50 cents and French fries are 35 pesos, a buck 50. Wow, and then they got regular burgers, and I don't know what else. Look at this, they got all these things here, cafes, coffee shops. I had not even noticed this. I got these sunglasses on, but I gotta take them off because I can't see that well. They're very good just to keep a lot of the sun out. I love sushi, look. They even have sushi bowls, and then they got the vegan stuff, vegetarian stuff, Californian stuff, empanadas. Wow, guys. You got to check this out when you're here in Mexico. Look at this. Tea house and even more Moroccan tea. Nice little shop so you can come and drink tea. They open up like at 10 in the morning or something. And beyond that are 11 and 12. Wow. A lot of nice little restaurants, little little ones here. And, and Mexican food here, Mexican stuff. Nice. Look at the Mexican murals here. Which way am I going? I have no idea. Look at the beautiful architecture. So this is just a morning walk taking you here today. Jesus Cristo el Señor, Jesus Christ the Lord, Universal Church, um, parish, mission, whatever. I did not bring my gimbal today because this was a walking, just a walk, and I decided that I wanted just to, oh, look at what they did with the plastic bottles here, the big plastic jugs that they use for water, and they make kind of like a, a nice entrance office to this Roma Verde community thing. Nice, excellent, wow, cool. And that's the entrance thing there, very nice. No, no problem, gracias. 
Very nice. Cool. All right. A nice little doggy there too. Buen dia. All right. So let's. ¿Cómo? Es un puerto. Muerto. Eh, tienen es, um, como um, plantas y cosas ahí creciendo, sí. tomates y uh, fruta. Sí. Ah, ok, qué, qué bien. ¿Y eso vale para entrar o es gratis? Eh, no, es gratis. Puede venir, pero a partir de las 2 de la tarde. ¿Dos de la tarde? Seguro. ¿Hasta qué horas? Hasta las 6 más o menos. 6. Ok, from 2 to 6 p.m., people can come here. It's free admission. It's an orchard, a type of place where they grow uh, vegetables and fruit. Cool, nice. Ah, gracias. Muchas gracias, Torego. Hasta luego, que esté bien. So nice, very good. Cool. Si este video lo quiere ver, pero esto es en inglés, se llama en YouTube Traveling Eddie. Eddie como Eddie Murphy. El actor de Hollywood. Sí, Traveling Eddie. Pero esto es en inglés. Ok, esto es Bye bye. Ok, so we're going, we're continuing. Gotta watch out that I don't get hit. Like I told you, you gotta be careful. I don't have the right of way here, so I gotta wait for uh, the vehicles to pass. Oh, that, this is a nice avenue. I don't know what it's called, but a while ago I was up like four blocks up that way, and they seem to have nice little shops and everything, and I opened up after 12 or 2 p.m. And some of the common little food stands that you find in Mexico City and in Mexico all over the place, juice shops, uh, tacos, and what not, and chilaquiles, and all that stuff, 40, 50 pesos. They're gonna be a little more expensive in this area because this is where people with money live. This is not the the cheaper area. And this is on Orizaba with Coahuila. Orizaba with Coahuila and another guy preparing some food for somebody. So this is nice. Look at this nice avenue here and old architecture. This is old, these are old houses. Like I have said before, I'll say it again. The rich used to live here 50, 60 years ago. 70 years ago, the rich, the very rich, and that was a house too. Now it's just, you know, shops on the side, whatever, offices, that has become more like commercial. And the people that are that are rich, or people that were rich at that time, and they started seeing this change in the city growing, they moved to areas like Santa Fe, Las Colinas de Santa Fe, Santa Fe Hills, to uh, Lomas de Ch Chapultepec, on the other side of the Chapultepec Park. And they have their big mansions there now, their big estates. And look at this, a nice little uh, bakery there with their little tables outside. Nice bakery, it looks like it. Have a nice coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. It's in the morning time, it's only like 9.30. I'm, waking, I'm making my way by, look, some of the old architecture, like I tell you, all these homes were like this, and this is 70, 80, 90, 100 years old. Coahuila, that's the name of the street. So I'm just showing you, this is my morning walk and I decided to make a video and show you some stuff at the same time. So a lot of nice architecture, if you really are into old architecture, some of this is dilapidated, dilapidated, like falling apart, and some are being restored, and some are being used as offices, so they restore them very nicely. So yeah, and I'm walking towards Eje Central Uno, so I can walk back to Doctores, where I'm living wow I have not really explored this area of Roma Norte because this is towards the south going towards Roma Sur I haven't even been to Roma Sur yet guys I take this little time out to remind you tell, ask you you know with a big please and a big heart Deadpool style now killing of course uh, please subscribe to the channel help the channel grow it's a free subscription the button is down below in case you don't know. And give the video a like if you really like the video. And that way it will get out to more people on YouTube. YouTube will recommend it to more people. And share it on your social media networks. And please leave comments down below. Thank you very much for your time. Back to the program. Back to walking Eddie. Traveling Eddie. But right now we're just walking. And these are newer apartment buildings. Where people with a little more dough live in them. And they want to live in these areas. This is not a cheap area to live in not by any stretches of the imagination and people are just going to work right now going to the offices and they're kind of like walking really fast and they got their jackets on because it's cold for them for me this weather's still good it's like about 15 degrees celsius fahrenheit i have no idea i've been working with celsius 
for so many years, for 23 years that I just don't remember. And people with their little food stands, they're getting breakfast, fruit, sandwiches, tortas, here are sandwiches. Oh, there's a big movie theater over there. And I almost got, well, that guy slowed down for me. I was not paying attention to the road. That was my fault. That was my fault, Eddie. So look at how cheap some uh, food is, burritos. 20 pesos is a dollar for a burrito. Or you can order three of them for 55 pesos. That's less than $3, $2.75. Or a mini burrito is 15 pesos. And then you got the late daily lunch special there, the menu. Uh, sopes is not soup, it's something, I don't know, costillas like rib or beef steak or chicken breast, campechanos, I don't know, that's from Campeche, chuletas, a type of meat from a pig, tortas are burgers, gorditas, alambres, gringas, a lot of things. And I'm coming towards this part, I think this is the main avenue I gotta get, funerales, oh, no, this is not The Undertaker, Eddie, this is not The Undertaker, Eddie, and this is a funeral home here where they got the funeral service. But this is not the Undertaker Eddie program. And this is the street I'm looking for, Eje Uno, Puente, or whatever they call that. So I'm back on this one, and I gotta walk up that way. So this street intersects Coahuila, Primera Calle de Coahuila, intersects with Eje Uno, Eje One. And I'm gonna start walking north towards where I live. I gotta explore more on another occasion. And I'm going to go to that festival this weekend on the 28th and the 25th, 20, Saturday and Sunday. Today is Wednesday. So I'm uploading this video today or tomorrow, Thursday, the 26th, or today, the 25th. I hope you liked it. Share with people. Tell people about it. I'm not using my gimbal. That's my disclaimer. No gimbal, no gimbal. So don't give me a gimbal. Don't give me a hard time. Don't give me a hassle. But you're free to do so if you want to. It doesn't really matter to me if you get angry. The ones that don't get angry, they understand. The ones that get angry, they have issues. Just like I've had issues before in my life. What can I say? And a beautiful boxy doggy. And the artwork. And with that, I throw the switch. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. <laughs>